Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will discuss about work done by a variable force. Before we proceed, we need to understand about the units and dimension of work. Because in the previous video we could not mention about the units and dimension of work, so we, we will start from the formula of work. Work is equal to force multiplied by displacement and cos of theta. In this case, we are considering the maximum work. So this cos theta will be one value and F D. Only F and D. The unit of force is Newton and the unit of displacement is meter. So the SI unit of work is Newton meter or Joule. But in case of dimension, we can say that dimension we need to open the Newton. Newton is kilogram meter per second square and this meter will be one meter. And if we to get together this term then we will get that kilogram meter square per second square. And if we convert into dimension, dimension of kilogram is mass m, dimension of meter is length L, L square and dimension of second is time T minus 2. So this is the dimension of work and you can also say that this is the dimension of energy. Now we will discuss about work done by a variable force. First of all we will discuss about the uh, one example which is related to a rocket. When rocket moves or against or away from the earth it moves against the gravitational force the movement of rocket is on the upward direction but the gravitational pull will be in the downward direction and this force will be inversely proportional to the distance from the earth or square of the distance from the earth and this force also depends on the work done it means that work is done by variable force let us consider a case when uh, a power or work is have been, has been done or calculated in in the region A to B in the line A to B as you can see that this is not a constant line or not a straight line and we cannot gen generalize or justify its relationship or formula but in order to understand or in order to calculate the total work between A point and B point we need to divide this interval into small small intervals every inter interval has a distance or displacement delta d1 delta d2 and delta d3 and each point at the each point force component is also applied we can say that this is f1 we can say that this is f2 we can say that this is f3 and so on first of all we will take only one case in which force is applying in this direction and distance is in, the, in this direction we need to resolve this force component in, with respect to rectangular components and if we resolve it this component will be f sin theta and this component will be f cos of theta and this is a displacement direction of displacement so as we previously mentioned that the only effective component will be f cos theta with respect to displacement because f cos theta is along the direction of displacement so work will be f cos of theta into d the product of force component or we can say that the product of effective component of force multiplied by displacement so in this case when we want to find the total work done on the in the region from a to b we can say that the total work done will be so in the case one we can say that w1 work done one on the one region is equal to f1 cos of theta1 into d1 because we can also say that this is delta d because it is a small interval and delta d1 and in case 2 similarly delta uh, force on the component or region 2 or work will be f2 cos of theta2 into delta d2 and similarly in all the cases if we find the work done on n com nth component or nth interval we can say that fn cos theta n delta dn because delta dn will be an in nth interval 
and if we find out the total work done the total work done will be W total is equal to sum of all the forces or sum of all the work W1 plus W2 plus W3 and so on we can also say, say that this W1 is not only a W1 this is a portion of work in the region 1 delta W1 delta W2 delta Wn and we can also add delta in all the terminologies so the final term will be delta Wn and if we add all the terminologies then it will be F1 cos of theta 1 into delta D1 plus F2 cos of theta 2 delta D2 and so on the final term will be Fn cos of theta n delta dn and if we generalize this terminology because we don't like these all the terms and we are we want to generalize in, the, in one term then we can say that the total work done will be total is equal to sum of all the forces summation sum of all the forces starting from i is equal to 1 to n because it is starting from 1 and it is ending at n 1 to n and f i cos of theta i and delta d i this is a generalized term and please remember that the unit of work done is newton meter or joule so in the other case this is the only generalized case in the other case when the when variable force applied on some system or some body then what will be the work done <coughs> for example this is a variable force this is a variable force in which we need to calculate the work done so first of all this region will be known as a displacement d in this direction and this region will be known as a force component f of cause f cause of theta and we need to find the work done the, we can say that the work will be the area under the curve in this curve whole area will be work done but the question is how we, we can calculate this work in this area so first of all we need to divide this region into n small intervals First of all, we will divide this region into n small intervals. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. As you can say that this small triangle can be neglected. This one and and so on. This first interval interval will be delta d1 because this is in the form of displacement in the direction. So the second one delta d2 and so on. So the total displacement will be displacement is equal to delta d1 plus delta d2 plus delta d3 and so on delta dn. So the force component will be this is f cos of theta. This one will be f f1 cos theta1 and this one will be f2 cos theta2 and so on. It means that all the component of force component effective component of force as well as effective component of displacement respectively we can multiply all the component with respect to their displacement component and the total work will be f1 cos of theta1 delta d1 similarly plus f2 cos of theta2 delta d2 and so on the total work or in the uh, nth term will be Fn cos theta n and delta dn. So we can also generalize this term with with effect with respect to sum of terms. The sum of term will be work total is equal to summation i is equal to one to n because these terminologies. Uh, if we put the value of 1 we can get the first interval if we put the value of 2 we can get the second interval or sum of two intervals similarly we can say that the total work done will be the effective area under the curve this under the curve area becomes the total work done on a system or some body f i cos of theta i delta di this is the final term 
guys or students we we have finished about the work done by a variable force as well as we have also discussed with you about the dimension and units because in the interest you you may be asked what is the difference between unit of work or force what is the difference between unit of work and energy so you can easily conclude about this we have finished about this if you want to learn more i have also an online academy you can learn from me and you can contact me in my contact information i will add my con contact information you can email me or you can get some time if you like my video or, or you can subscribe my channel also we will see you in the next video bye bye thank you so much